talking about. Just what I came after. Oh, you nut. Like seven pounds? Oh, yeah, we got some back and forth. Oh my god! Oh shit! Ah! Ah! Got it! Holy crap! Looks nice, doesn't it? I ain't got my neither of my poles set up for minnow yet. I'm gonna have to take this crankbait off. Sure miss this place when it's in its prime. We tried this in the spring. We caught a lot of catfish and a couple white bass, but really not many crappie. Oh yeah, it's low. It's actually real prime right now, I'm telling you. Alright. Same with up there. If we go up there, that's real shallow and you get hung over and over. Catch them on a minnow and bobber, that's why we bought them. There he was. Oh, 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 oh. Cat. Catfish. All right, nice little channel though, huh? <laughs> I hope it didn't swallow up. I think it did. I don't know if I can get that or not. Oh yeah, I can get it. I can get it by hand, I think. All right, folks, I got a, my first fish of the day, channel cat. Took me three times, I think, that he kept just pulling it under, and when I'd set the hook, there was nothing there. It's about a pound. Not terrible, but not huge. At least he didn't swallow the hook. I got it back by hand with no pliers. I think, yep. All right, not too bad. Nice little channel. Makes me wonder if I was on the bottom then I might have this set really deep or just real shallow over here. Could be really shallow. <coughs> might look deep, but it ain't. Could be two feet or whatever. I, I got it set at two feet, so it could have been sitting on the bottom. Come on another big cat here. Bigger than the last time, I think. It's going crazy. It's the only explanation. Yeah, it's bigger. It's about a two pounder here this time. Nice channel though. Real dark. My, that's a nice one. My goodness. Yeah. <sighs> Devoured this minnow. Oh. <sighs> Not bad. Pretty decent. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's a straight two pounder there. All right. In the whisker, I just pulled the hook out in one second. My gosh, that was that close to getting off. Nice little channel, guys. Real long and slender. This thing should be three pounds, but he's so slim. Cool little channel though. All right, let's get her back in. Oh, 
Oh, got another one. Oh, man, another channel cat, guys. Matter of 10 seconds, another two pounder. This was on the biggest minnow I had in the bucket. So I decided to try to get a bigger cat. Man, I can't keep these things off. Trying to catch crappie and catching, caught three fish and they've all been channel cats. <laughs> They're nice ones though, I'll give them that for a little stream. Not bad. Exact same size as last time. Exact, this one's fatter. Same length, but a lot fatter. Oh yeah. Good God. That's a nice one there. Not bad at all. He's eating sides. Perfect eating size. Oh man. Hey. And I got all three of these cats out with no pliers. That's a rarity in itself. Nice little, that thing's fat there. That's a fat female channel there. Pretty nice. All right, let me get him back in. Look at that. Oh, you want it? There we go. <laughs> it's bigger than yours, I think. I gotta let these really tire down though. Guys, I'm using six pound Mr. Crappie because I'm fishing for crappie. So far, I haven't been able to keep catfish off. Now, it looks like I can't keep bass off. But at least we're catching something, so that's all that matters, right? I just gotta play these out big time. I mean, I gotta let them just fight and fight. Whoa, look at that tree below me, honey. Look, crappie for sure. That's crappie heaven right here. Missed it. Mm. There's a big tree below me. Yeah, hold on. All right, folks, finally wore that thing down. little bass oh yeah <laughs> sure is he's getting a drink probably oh my goodness <laughs> all right folks there's a raccoon here walking in the water that was he seen me now he ducked back up in the woods huh Oh, oh, something big, something real big. And I, can, I can fight this one because I got 10 pounds. Oh my gosh, Wilma, it's like three or four pounds. Big bass here, guy. Whoa, it's five pounds. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
What a hoss, guys. Oh, stay on there. What a giant bass. Whoo. It's okay. He's hooked good. He ain't as big as I thought. He's three and a half, though. Almost four. My gosh. All right. Whoa. <laughs> the storm smash that is becoming one of my favorite lures. Oh, my God. That's a giant. We can only keep one bass like this out of here. Whoo. What a hoss. Oh, my. Storm smash ad, guys. Cheap sunglasses. What an amazing lure. It is gold, red dot, chrome, green, purple, and blue all in one lure. Look at this bass. Easily four pounds. Whew. Wowzers. What a hoss. I can almost put my fist in its mouth. Dang close. Oh, ho, ho, ho. There's water on the lens. Can you wipe the water off? Oh. Now that's a bath. You're crooked in. About four pounds. Oh, the storm smash that. What a nice large mouth. That really helped make the day worth it right here. It's a nice bass. Nice strip pit bass right there. Wow. Good. A little smaller than the one I caught a few days ago, but it's a nice one. Okay. I wonder why it shut off. Okay. So I'm back on. That that bass has got me pumped up. That was a nice surprise. Now I see why that one broke my six pound line. It was probably something like that. I think I'm leaving this lure on. The storm smash shad, guys. What an amazing lure. I've caught a lot of fish on this thing. This is the one size smaller than I normally use because there's a lot of hydrilla in this lake. And uh, I want to make sure I don't get hung as well. See if I can get another one. Got one. Got one again. Oh, and it's big. Wilma, Wilma. Oh my gosh. It's bigger. It's bigger. It's even bigger. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is a good spot. Oh my gosh. It's bigger, honey. It feels like it. Oh my God. Gee, I wonder what lure I'm going to use the rest of the day. <laughs> two cast, two giant bass. He felt a lot bigger than he was because he's kind of hooked in the bottom of the lip. That's still a nice one. It's a three. Wow. My goodness. Oh, yeah. Whew. Folks, if you ain't got a... Ooh, folks, if you don't have a Storm Smash Shad cheap sunglasses, I recommend you go to get one. You see what it just did? It just got me two nice largemouth back-to-back, two casts in a row. Like I said before, chrome, yellow, red, blue, purple, and green all in one. And I usually get the size 7. This is a 5. Look at that, guys. Another big pot belly, large mouth, about three pounds. Woo! Nice. <laughs> Look at that, hun. I'm gonna see it one more time before we put it back. No, 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 shit. You can only keep one over 18, that's it. This is becoming one of my confidence lures right here. Definitely. You got one? 
Careful with him. You need to set your drag too. You got your. You need to set your drag, or you're gonna risk it breaking. It's a nice bass. Just be careful with him. Easy. Don't pick him up. Pick him up by the lure. By the lure. Don't pull. Don't pull. There you go. All right. Good job, Wilma. Got a bass. All right. Guys, we're fishing for crappie and catching nothing but largemouths, but at least we're catching something. Started out with channel cats earlier in the day. Now we're getting decent bass. There's some big ones in here. I didn't know they were this big in here. It's got a really healthy population of them, too. All right, hold on. Good view of you here. Let me zoom in on you. Good job, Wilma. All right, she caught him on the sour apple Berkeley flicker shad. Good deal. Short day. We was only here for two hours. It was more of an exploring situation, getting familiar with this lake. I fished it from the boat dock four times, but never had been out on it. And uh, yeah, I got it. it is shallow over here, big time. Too shallow for this. And uh, so, but we did catch a few nice largemouth. I got two real nice ones back to back. So we learned where the largemouth are in the lake, but we haven't had any luck with crappie today at all. Yeah, this stick field here is too shallow. The other ones are better. Get down there about eight foot deep. There he is, crappie. Yes. Finally, guys. Our intended species. A little black. And by little, I mean little. Boy, they just started biting at dark. It's a shame. Little seven inch black. Now I know the trick for the next time we're here. Okay, these these basically, folks, what this is, all around this entire lake, the weeds are real bad until about 20 feet from the bank, and then it drops down real sharp. You gotta be on the outside of that and cast long ways, let it fall about six to eight feet down, and then reel it real slow, methodical wind, as Richard Jean would say. And that's when you'll get your fish. Problem is it's hard to stay on that, especially if the wind's blowing, to stay in that zone without a foot pedaled, uh, foot powered trolling motor, which I don't have. Yes, there we go. Oh, it's a bass, darn. Small too, I was hoping it was a slab, but it's not guys. I got a flame on this Mr. Crappie line. I gotta let him just have his fun. <laughs> oh, oh. All right. Hey, it's a fish. All right, another large mouth. Boy, it sure hit like a crappie. I fooled me. It fooled me big time. I thought it was a slab. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then half the regular speed to keep it down. Unfortunately, this ends our day. It was a very short day today. Maybe we do better tomorrow. I may try the walleye lake tomorrow instead. And then maybe come back to this one Saturday or who knows. Or unless we catch a lot of walleye, then I want to do it again. There is crappie mixed in with them too, so. Uh, <clears throat> the 
these lakes you just gotta really figure out and I'm starting to figure it out a little bit here and there. It helped to get a few hours on it to kind of get a pre uh, pre uh, knowledge of it. So uh, we gotta work our way back to the car. It's about a 15 minute boat ride here at least. Uh, this is one big lake. I'm not sure, but I know it's several hundred acres or at least it seemed like it. Fairly long, about a mile long or longer. Anyway, we had a fun day. We didn't catch a whole lot, but we did catch two giants. So, And I got to see the weirdest thing when the camera was off. I swear to God, I seen a, a, pick or a pike or a muskie come to the top of the water real slow and just churned. And I do know they did some stocking in several of these pits uh, several years ago. And I remember it saying that if you catch one, please report it because they claim that there's been no reports of anybody catching the ones they stocked and I know for a fact I seen one it was back in a cove and it just came to the top real slow and, and turned and uh, I tried to catch it but I didn't have any luck apparently uh, but it was really cool to see I'm not sure if it was a pike or muskie but it was one of the two it really freaked me out because it definitely wasn't a gar. There's no gar in here and it had a duckbill appearance. So it was kind of cool to see that. Had fun catching my four and three pound bass. So it, all in all, it wasn't a bad day for what time we had. And caught the couple channel cats out of the creek below here. All right, we'll see you guys the next time. Hit that like button and please subscribe.